Hey Libras, I'm with you Tiff. I'm going to bring you a love reading for the next today so we can see what's pop a in your love life. Okay guys, let's get it. In the pre-shuffle, I saw somebody that's actually recovering here, Libra, which is beautiful because your past readings have shown, you know, heartbreak, you trying to get over a cycle. And I see somebody really trying to close out something that has hurt them and starting to heal from it. But I also see somebody that's kind of bored, you know, you know, they're kind of alone now, so they're bored. But this is going to be a you versus them for the for the next um, two days. It's going to be you on this side, them on this side, and mutual energies. Now, take it how it resonates. This could be them. This could be you. You'll know how it goes, okay? So definitely, I feel like uh, right off the top, what did I just say? Say, say somebody is finally, finally finding peace in a situation, okay? Somebody is starting to heal from a situation. And they're realizing that the sadness that they had, they're, be, they're thankful for what they went through with that person, okay? Because... They know that that person taught them some things about themselves here, I feel. And I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you that's finding peace in a situation, Libra. And that's beautiful. That's very, very beautiful that that came out. Thank you, Spirit. Come through. Let's see what their person, overall energy for those, their person. Surrender. I can release my need to control. So your person, the person you were dealing with could have been very, very controlling. They could have um, really tried to hold on to you for a very, very long time, I feel like. And there's now you're starting to release them or they're starting to release this feeling. And then you've got loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So somebody's trying to really like um, surrender to the fact that it's okay to be alone. It's okay to move on and be alone. Okay. Mutual energy for my Libras. We got empathy and perseverance. So both of you guys, you and the person that you were dealing with, um, is really ch trying to see things like it's come to a point where I can see things from your side and, and you can see things from my side. There's finally some understanding here. And somebody, I feel like with the understanding came an ending and somebody's trying to push through. I think both of you guys are trying to push through because you're both understanding that, um, Maybe it just wasn't meant to work out. See, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness. Somebody was holding on. Somebody was scared to move on. But now they're realizing that that is definitely the best thing for them. Let's see what the romance angels have for you. This person on this side who's finding peace, gratitude, moving on, healing. Let's see what the angel... Release your ex. Oh my gosh, I cannot make this up. Thank you, spirit. Come through. This person's finding peace because they're finally releasing this toxic ex, this person that was in their life. And now that they've done that, now that you did that, Libra, I feel like that you, new love is coming in. The divine is going to be blessing you because you let go of that situation. I feel like somebody, you, you might be dealing with somebody else, Libra, that might be stirring your feelings right now. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Your person... Okay, so your person could be dealing with a soulmate or and that's what ended up ended this relationship, okay? This person I also feel like could have been a karmic karmic soulmate here to teach you lessons. But for some reason I'm feeling this is this new love's energy. Like this new love is a soulmate that's coming in for you. So we're going to put that over there for some reason. Let's see. Okay. This person over here that's lonely, they're trying to really just surrender to the fact that it might be over. They're trying to keep an open mind about the situation, okay? Um, somebody's starting to, like I said, this is your soulmate may differ from what you would originally think. So somebody's realizing that, hey, maybe this person isn't the person for me. And... I feel like you two lived completely different lives. Y'all might be believed in different things, argued about the way of way to go about life. You know what I'm saying? They had they had high standards or like wanted things done a certain way. Then you have very soon. So either let's see what goes with that. Yep. Okay. See, very soon both of you guys will be completely free from one another. Okay. 
somebody has definitely freed themselves, okay? And and very soon somebody a new person is going to be coming in for you, Libra. A new love, a soulmate energy that's coming in. Because you have freed yourself. And if you haven't completely freed yourself from that other situation, you will be. You will be very, very soon. Because somebody is going to be coming in and stirring up those romantic feelings again, okay? All right, Libra. These are a deck that I'm coming out with in a couple of months. I got to get the design right. These are just energies, messages, anything surrounding. So this person over here who's finding peace, releasing this ex person, finding new love, most likely a soulmate. Yeah, this you thought you were going to be with this person forever, okay? You thought you guys were going to be together forever. You hoped for the best. But you don't, I don't love you no more. It's just not there anymore. Everything, the the bumps that you have been through with this person has just caused all of the, what you felt in the beginning were together forever is now it's like, I don't even feel this anymore. Okay. Mutual energies here. Okay. I feel like this is, this is your person here because I normally do this one and then that person. I feel like this person over here is panicking now. They're realizing that they're losing you and that they probably lost you for good because you went through the same cycle with this person over and over. And now it's like, okay, now Libra isn't giving in to me so much. Now Libra isn't answering my text like she used to. She's not answering my phone. She's not giving in or he, you know, if you're a male or female, I'm not reading energy. And so now they're watching you stalkerish. They're panicking. They're wondering if you've moved on. They're watching you on social media. They're trying to figure out what you got going. Okay. Mutual energies here. It wasn't my intention to hurt you. Single and loving it. And I'm letting go. Okay. I can't make that up. Somebody, so somebody's definitely letting go. Libra, I think you're finding yourself. You're out here. You're starting to become abundant, beautiful. People are starting to notice you and you're letting go of the situation. But this person is like, hey, but spirit is letting you know, like, hey, it was, I feel like this is a mutual energy for the simple fact that whenever they were out there doing their dirt, because this says it wasn't my intention to hurt you. I feel like they were just, that's just the way they were. They weren't thinking about the consequences of their actions. But once it happened, now they're realizing how bad they hurt you. But I feel like this is mutual because now you're saying, hey, it wasn't my intention to hurt you. It's not my intention to hurt you. I'm just done with this situation, okay? You know, I'm not doing it out of spite. I'm just done, period, with the situation that you've had me in. Okay, for this person over here, in peace, release, and we're going to get three cards. Mm -hmm, you're moving on. You're totally moving on to another situation, man. Oh, that's so beautiful. I, You know what, Spirit? I love you guys. Thank you so much for blessing me with this gift. Um, yeah, you're moving on towards something greater, okay? You know that there's a happy life ahead of you, and you know that you deserve way better. This is 11-11. This is somebody coming in that loves you so much that will fulfill you, okay? And I feel like here you got the king of swords looking at you and they don't, they don't want that to happen. Okay. I, I, I read intuitively and the way the cards would go like are meant to be read. So somebody, I think you're going to communicate very clear to this person that look, it's over. I don't want to do this anymore. Leave me alone. Okay. But this person, you're using your head over your heart here because you know, that this isn't the situation. Now you see how this king of wands, this king of swords though, now they're looking over and they're, they're mad. Okay. They don't want this happiness to you to have this happiness. All right. But look at you. This is beautiful. Okay. You're letting go of this karmic. This is definitely a karmic that you were dealing with. And now you're letting them go. In the past, it might've been somebody that you thought we were very, now, now I read a mess past president. I read crazily. Okay. So in the past, you thought it was a, a happy, fulfilling situation that could have made you happy. And you're finally now communicating very clearly that this isn't what you want, okay? And now this is the next two days. You're, you're letting, you know, this is something that you could have done, did. You're letting go of this karmic situation. I'm not attached to this anymore. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm freeing myself from your karmic bonds, okay? Okay, see, your person, though, 
okay you did a lot of soul searching you went inside yourself i think both of you guys were very lonely both of you guys were feeling hoping for something that um that it it didn't end up being okay and now somebody is really going in themselves they're feeling lonely this might be you because what you thought was going to make you happy did it, okay it ended up being um no joy no satisfaction no recognition no love there was absolutely nothing i feel like the relationship had you feeling very lonely like you're in a relationship but yet you still feel lonely I feel like the person you're dealing with has moved on towards something else, either a family situation, uh, um, a situation that had kids, um, some kind of stable commitment. I think they're trying to move towards a different, different kind of commitment, okay? Because now here you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. They are coming out. They're accepting it. They're free. They freed themselves. They're, they're, they got a new outlook on life with most likely somebody else, I feel here. Okay? Um, but they, they're still confused. You know what I'm saying? They don't know if that's what they actually wanted. They're trying to have their cake and eat it too. Hold on to you and hold on to this other situation. They're causing a lot of confusion. Okay? I think they cause you a lot of confusion when they come in and out. So you did a lot of waiting, man. You were hoping for the best here. You were restless about the situation. And you waited and waited for this person to make this decision, okay? And now that they haven't, now you're growing. You're looking out to what can actually, the good that can actually come from leaving this situation behind yeah you're hurt yeah you're sad yeah it's caused you a lot of pain you're gonna feel the loss you're gonna feel the grief you're gonna feel di disappointed because look it falls right under the karmic see in this family situation that you thought it was gonna be it ended up being you know not as exciting as you thought it was going to be, okay? It ended up leaving you wanting to search and do other things. But now you've clearly communi communicated that you want your freedom. There's more out there for you that you're trying to grow. You're not trying to deal with this person, okay? And then for right here, yeah, it hurts because you're realizing that this person is just a devil, a karmic that's held on to you for a long time and that it's not was it meant to be, okay? But that's okay because you love this person. It's not your fault. You can still feel sad even though you dealt with somebody that wasn't for you. Now you got two fives right next to each other even though this one is mutual energy. Uh, two fives could be just, you know, first off there was definitely I feel like infidelity, love triangles. And it caused somebody just to feel defeated. I feel like somebody here lost was in competition with another person and they lost. And that's why, and see, this person now is in a, a committed relationship. So I feel like they left you and went to a committed relationship, and now you're feeling the loss. You feel defeated. You feel like you lost. But both of you guys are feeling left out. I think one person might be completely broke, which is this person over here that went to a family situation. And I feel like you're now feeling left out in the cold. One more mutual energy. Mm-hmm. But you're both trying to just focus on work, box up, continue to be stable, continue um, to stay calm with this situation. Libra's person. See, oh my gosh, I just said. They, they done went off and started. Now, this could have happened in the recent past. They went off and started another committed relationship. This is like living two lives. You know what I'm saying? They went towards another situation. There might be kids involved, family involved, and started started something new with them. Yep, yep. They went and offered something to somebody else, okay? Um, here you got, though, somebody... Um, you got somebody here that is ready for a new adventure, okay? They want to vent they wanted to venture out and do something else. They're not feeling stuck no more. I may maybe they felt stuck in the situation with you too because you both realized it was karmic and now they've ventured out and done and started something else. They could be sensitive. Not much to offer.
Yeah, see, they're, 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 they're bringing confusion to you and the relationship because they're trying to hang on to you because they know you're the breadwinner. They know that they're going to be stable and okay if, as long as they got you in their life. You always gave to them. You, they, they know that if they let go of you, that they're going to lose their money train. And I hate to put it like that, but that's exactly what I see here. So that's why they're causing this confusion in your life. Man, I want to go deeper into that, but this is just, you know, a quickie daily reading. I mean, you know, it's for the next two days, but I feel like you've definitely left a karmic situation behind. You're feeling sad. You're still mourning it, but I feel like it's the best thing that you did because this person has already moved on. And I feel like you're going to be moving on towards somebody that's a true, true soulmate. Somebody that's going to love you the way you deserve and not like this person did, okay? That just used you because I just see this person as like a leech. Somebody that just sucks the energy dry out of you. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to pull one of these cards. I want you to focus on a question. Just meditate on the question. And uh, I'll pull one and then I'll read from the book for clarity. Okay, so just focus on a question you would like to ask the universe. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support you've shown my channel. Like, I really appreciate it. And if it resonates, please like, comment, subscribe. It definitely sends out an energetic donation and it means so much to me, okay? So here we go for the Libra. Success! Wow! So you're doing the right thing by moving on. I really definitely feel that here. But let's go on ahead and read for clarity. Congratulations, Libra. You are on the road to success. You don't need to have any reservations about the situation. Stop worrying as it's going to work out beautifully. Part of living a successful life is taking care of yourself first. It's wonderful to have many things and be grateful for, but make sure you don't wear yourself down by working too hard. Take time to enjoy peace in your life, okay? So yeah, still focus on your work, but don't work yourself to death trying to forget about this person, okay? Because the divine is working this out for you. You're releasing this ex and you got this new soulmate coming in. You're, you're doing absolutely exactly what the divine is is has laid out for you to do okay libra i love you guys please keep an eye out for my readings i'm gonna post every every day i post every day okay love y'all have a good one